Hey guys, Ryan here, and today I'm going to bring you a replay in the Banshee Comet on Malinovka Winter Encounter Battle. Um, in this game, I'm going to be platooned with Curtis in his Dreadnought KV-10. And it's going to be a tier 8 game. And what I'm going to be thinking of is, I'm going to go up the hell, because when you don't go up the hell you get capped out. Um, although I'm in a medium tank, so I don't have to go straight away, I am fairly fast. But I need to think about who are my potential threats up on the hill. And the potential threats are artillery, obviously. And then they've got two T-29s, who if they get up there, even in this here 9 game, could have been dangerous. So, I'm pinging the uh, circle on top of the hill. And as I said, I, I realise sometimes some fight happens on the field, but every time I've not gone hell, or the team hasn't gone hell, the enemy team has. And then we just get capped out. What I'm doing is, our light tank's going in, and I'm thinking, on a map like this, light tanks are very powerful, and they've got two tier 8 ones, so... I'm actually going to try and get to a position where I can shoot the light tanks. Because if I can get rid of them pretty quick, that would be just really good for the game. The T-29 gets spotted, and it's hard to tell from this bit, but that's definitely not a 105mm T-29. That's either the 90mm, which is still a good gun, or... And I feel sorry for him if it is, that could have been the 76 mil, although probably not. But he's gone to quite an interesting position, he's been spotted. I'm trying to use these bushes to fire, but um, the light tanks that are running around on the field keep getting to a position where there's a gap in the bushes and they can see me. And it's actually quite annoying. But I switched up target because all the light tanks are important, the T-29 also very powerful tank, in fact the best one in the game, tier for tier, for a lot of people. Now I'm loading APCR because the Comet has quite bad shell velocity, uh, which can make shooting at moving tanks, especially light tanks, quite difficult. So I've loaded APCR to try and improve my chances of hitting these uh, light tanks. And right now we've already lost one of our lights, but we did start with three, instead of two, so... Not the biggest issue. Now I'm climbing back up again. Another T29 is a one shot. Or a T29 is a one shot. Finish them off. And I'm going to take out the Becky Lynch. But I've got APCR loaded. And it turns out he's actually been tracked by our light tank. Now there's still a light tank left. But I've now decided with one of them gone. Now's the time for me to push up the hill. Keeping an eye out for artillery. And at the very least, we do seem to have some teammates making their way up. And as you can see, one of the enemies already made it in the base. There's two enemies. I'm looking at who we've got going up. KV3, I mean, it's going to be good to have him, but not particularly great. One of our teams said defend the base. I just give them the firm to let them know that I'm on my way. And, the Comet is excellent for decapping bases, actually, because of the rapid rate of fire. You can put one shot into one tank, and then switch targets repeatedly. It's actually quite nice, if you need to decap. Stock KV-3, I've just realised, so might not be as much use up here as possible, apart from then, like, a damage sponge to take shots for me. We did have a Lerva on our team, and I'm not sure if he's in front of... Yeah, the Lerva's up here, which is quite nice. And now they've got a whole bunch of people in the cap circle. We've got one guy going forward, and now this is where... I order the APCR, not knowing who I see up here. The French heavy tank is not angling correctly, so I can actually pen him. I'm pretty confident with standard rounds. But when you're in a Comet, you get into this zone where like, you keep backing fall, uh, going backwards, going forwards, firing, snapping shots, staying on the move, looking around you. When you have to fire quick, you have to keep an eye on everything that's going on. And I have to stay on the move because two artillery. And when you're getting to, when you get into a situation like this, you don't even bother looking at what ammo you've got loaded. You just focus entirely on the tanks in front of you, the tanks around you, firing the gun and avoiding artillery. So you're just going to say, snap a shot, back up. So you're going to see I'm missing quite a few shots because I'm not quite fully aiming. And as I said, really, that's more of a artillery thing because these tanks aren't looking at me, so I wouldn't have to move backwards and forwards. So if there was no artillery, I'd, I'd have just sat there and just farmed the AMX. Once I kill him, I realise I've been firing APCR, so I'll switch back to AP. 
Because the Tiger P's got some pretty easy to hit weak points uh, on the corner of his cheeks, as well as a Capola. I hit the cheek and find the artillery finishes him off. Now, we've kind of got the upper part of the hill, but they do have another T29, and he's definitely got the 90mm gun. Which doesn't have the best standard pan against tier 8s and 9s, but can definitely ruin me. I missed the lower, second lower plate shot. Probably shouldn't even taken that shot on the Ag Panther too, it wasn't gonna pan. No health S to RV, just snap a shot in. Artillery finishes off our Tiger P. And that's the main scary part about coming over this ridge line. We know that their artillery is looking up here. We're also down on tanks at the moment, which I didn't realise. Uh, Curtis got slapped by Artie, he's gonna get hit again. Now that Tiger 1 doesn't look like he's got the fully upgraded turret. Um, I'm not too familiar with the Tiger, but I'm pretty sure it's gun mount that doesn't look like that. So even with standard rounds, I'm able just to pan straight through it. And now what's going to happen is, I'm going to go for the lower plate of the T29 and try and finish him off. But I didn't realise I was actually in plain line of sight of the uh, Tiger. So if the Tiger wants me to farm him, I'll farm him. And now I'm going to switch over to the artillery, because of course I would. Switch back to standard round, because I had a premium loaded. Got to blind fire him. And that felt quite nice to nail him. And now I'm thinking the T29 was going to look at the guy behind him, but he's actually aiming at me. And now I'm going to leave them, because my spidey sense is tingling as Curtis gets killed by the artillery. I'm thinking that LTTB hasn't been spotted in a while. Um, I get spotted there, my gunner's dead and I haven't realised. I'm opening the map to try and see where he could be. And just as I come over to look down here, I realise he's behind me, up on the hill. So... That's what I mean, like, when a light tank disappears for a while on Malinovka, your spidey sense just starts tingling. And this is actually a dangerous fight for me to have, or would have been, because he's actually got pretty good armor, especially against a low caliber gun like mine. But, thankfully for me, he doesn't have many hit points, and I do, so in this case, it's not too big a deal for me to jump down. He absorbs my first shot, gets one into me, but I've got the reload advantage. I do pick him up, our KV-3 got the other artillery, and now we only have a Panther 2 left, I believe. Uh, I'm on 6 kills. Going for my 7th. And that's just about where this Panther 2 is. Now I'm playing rather cautiously here. I don't necessarily need to. Um, Panther 2 didn't have very much alpha. Although at the same time it was a pretty good DPM. Only has to hit me twice. Now the Comet isn't the fastest of mediums. It's not slow. But it's not like you know. A Leo. For example. I spent too much time aiming in to try and confirm the shot that I don't get it. I should have just snapshot and see what happens. But unfortunately, I didn't do that, so I missed out on the seventh kill. But either way, a good game in my favourite tank, the, the Comet. Um, 75k profit, I get this game. 3300 damage for the high calibre, 458 assistance, 6 kill for a top gun, and it was a nice tanker. And that's what you want to do in this tank. You find that position, just backwards, forwards, snapshots in, and just let that DPM get to work. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you all in the next one.